Let's understand what the stimulus is. The stimulus is one of the important parts of the power analysis, and it is the dump of the signal activity data from the simulation of the design. All simulators and emulators offer utilities that dump signal activity data into the file, which waveform viewers, debugging, and power analysis tools can use. The stimulus is present in different formats. VCD is the value change dump and is in the text format. This is one of the oldest formats. As the name suggests, the VCD file captures the signal values change over time. FSDB is a fast signal database. It is also a binary format, and just like VCD, it stores changes in signal values over time. Tools widely adopted since it is much more compact than VCD. TCF is toggle count format. This text format also records average activity data, the toggle count over a certain simulation duration. As it saves average toggle data, TCF is very compact. SIF is the switching activity interchange format. Like TCF, SIF is another text format that records average activity data. SDB is Joule's own stimulus database. And then there is PHY database generated from the Palladium. Another point is that TCF and SIF formats are based on the average format. And VCD, SHM, FSDB, or PHY are based on the trace or are event-based. When you load the stimulus file in Joules, it is stored in a compact binary database called SDB, a stimulus database. This is what your SDB structure looks like. You have an SDB header that stores information about its stimuli. The stimulus is divided into different numbers, stim number 1, stim number 2, and stim number 3. Each stimulus can have multiple frames of different sizes per the simulation duration. Like stim number 1 has 4 frames F1, F2, F3, F4. Stim number 2 has 3 and stim number 3 has 1, and so forth. Again, Within these frames in stimulus are frame headers containing information about frames like start time and finish time. You can name each of the stimulus files like stim number 1, stim number 2, etc. And corresponding stimulus file frames are named as stim number 1, and then you have frame number 1, stim number 1 frame number 2, stim number 2 frame number 1, etc. So, this is the nomenclature for the different frames present in the stimulus. The important point here is that each stimulus has a hidden frame zero that saves the average activity over all the frames in the stimulus.